Today we're starting our day over in Tarpon Springs, Florida. And here in Tarpon Springs, there is a lot of history. Like um, This is actually downtown Tarpon Springs, but we came here today to not check out a lot of the historical buildings. We're actually gonna come back another day and try and check that stuff out. But today we're actually gonna head across the street and check out a museum. It's not like a historical museum, it's a little different. And here it is. Just plenty of pinball games. So here is the Replay Amusement Museum. We've got a bunch of pinball machines lining the walls, from what I can tell, and then a lot of cabinets. And here's Rachel. Oh, you found Dragon Slayer? That is awesome. I haven't played this in so long. Let's see if I can remember this. <laughs> I, uh, I already won. This is not representing me. Alright, I do not remember how to play Burger Time. Let's see. I don't know how to play. Oh, that looks good on the camera. Alright, so, you're this little man right here. I believe, yeah, you have to build the burgers. So go up, and then watch out for the egg. Go to the right. Oh, there you go, you got it. I peppered him. You've been murdered. Oh, I used all my pepper. You what? I've never actually played pinball. I don't know how. Except, how do you? Except for like that thing you could do on the old computers. Are you talking about um, what was a space cadet pinball? The only pinball I've ever played. I'm dating her. She's never played pinball. We'll change that today. Now the question is, which one should be your first pinball machine played? They've got plenty of them here. Let's see what we can find. Want to try Chicago? Maybe. Good shot. You got Chicago? Let's go down here and see what else we got. Aztec? How do you play? Okay, so what you want to do is, it should be free credits right here. Okay, so right here, you're going to have the ball come out. You're going to pull the plunger back and let it go. And this ball's going to shoot up here and then start falling along the entire thing. There's buttons on the sides. Then I'll move these little flippers. Move to the right and one to the left. Okay. Some machines have flippers up here as well. So like uh, that one's not a good example. Nor is this one, but some do. And that was your first ball lost. It went behind it. I think I'm gonna try the butterfly right here. Ah, come on. So how'd I do? So how are you enjoying your first game? I think I got 120 something. actually really cool because we used to have this cabinet when I was a kid. We actually uh, modified it so down here like we had a computer 
as well as like up here we had a regular computer screen, so we could run emulators down here and run any game we possibly wanted to on this cabinet. I'd love to get another one. So the cool thing about Replay is that you don't have to come in with a bunch of cash and a bunch of quarters to be able to continuously play games and pinball machines. What you can do is you actually come in and you pay a flat rate, I think it's for adults, it's thirteen fifty. I'm not sure if it's for kids, I can't remember. But you come on in and once you pay your admission, you get a little wristband and you can come in and out all day long. So you get access to all of these different machines. They've got Tron, they've got Galaga, they've got more pinball machines than... I mean, I want to say either equivalent to or more than Disney Quest did. I mean, you can come in and out, grab some lunch, come on back in, and just spend your entire day in here. So, it really is a pretty neat place to come to. It's going to continue to look around. I'm finding games that I either haven't played in about like, a thousand years, or games that I've not even played ever before. Like, I've never played Original Tempest, just on my PlayStation or my computer when I was a kid. So, I think we're going to play some Tempest here in a minute. But first, Rachel's playing Captain Fantastic. Hello, John. Pretty sweet. They've upgraded to a double panel system. Double panel? Oh, okay, see, that's what I was talking about. See, they've got the two over here, one up here, and they've got one up here in the middle of the machine. That, my friend, is quadruple panel. I think that this is actually what I'm going to try out next, is the Funhouse pinball machine. It's got a, a little ventriloquist on my head here, so that'll be interesting. Hey, Chucky, you're up. high speed, but is it a high speed type of game? Immediately, immediately I went on the track right here. I'm starting to think that pinball might not be my strong suit, but I mean, Rachel's doing well. And what'd you get? I got five million. You got five million? Now, that, that sounds pretty good. What do I want to play? Missile Command, Neo, Centipede, X-Men, Moonwalker. Ooh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. I think I'll uh, take center stage on that, please. The uh, the screen does tend to like that little uh, line thing. So, I mean, I wish you guys the best of luck on how it works. you worry, maybe Jackson's here to save you. Whoa, what just happened? Look out, I'm Mega Jackson. Gotcha, girl. Ah. Oh, that was intense. Dance it out, boys, dance it out. That was a pretty sweet animation. Mortal Kombat, huh? No, 
let's see if I still remember to play this game. With a knee to the face, she murders me. tripod on here while I'm playing. Oh, the one thing I'm supposed to do, play strikes. Alright, so what did you find? I got one of the Fix a Felix Jr. machines. Sweet. They must have got it from Disney Quest. Did they got it from Disney Quest or did they just. I don't know. dangerous like just jumping around on these windowsills like this, right? Uh, well, I did what I could. I'm going to take a look at the rest of the machines that they have in there. I'm just going to take a look around the front. Okay, some more of their pinball machines. This is really interesting. They have like a, an oversized machine for Tron, like an oversized cabinet, and then a massive Hercules pinball. Yeah. I think this one actually does cost 25 cents. It's the world's largest pinball machine. Wow, world's largest. If I find a quarter in my pocket, I think I'm gonna have to give it a shot. This is interesting, the black hole. Huh. I'll have to come back and try that here in a second. Rachel. And there's most of the pinball machines we were playing earlier. Now all of this right here is all going to be like arcade cabinets where you've got games like Frogger. Now, now Frogger's got a vest and a tie on. I don't remember that. Oh lord, here's the Simpsons. Back when I used to stay at the Wilderness campgrounds in Disney, I used to go out to the arcade and play The Simpsons constantly. I think I've probably beaten the game maybe once or twice, but oh, that's, that's memories. We've got Return of the Jedi for Star Wars, we've got Gauntlet. We've got a couple of like little oh, like tabletop games where you sit down and you're able to play these actually on the table. So let's go over here. I want to try this black hole pinball machine. I need to know how to get down there. There's like another layer down below. The there you go. Rachel's gonna try her hand at the black hole. See if she can do any better at showing you guys what it looks like down there. Okay, it's the one right next to it. The haunted house also has this little like extra bit in the bottom. So I'll try this one. Oh, oh, oh! It was down there. It was down there. I couldn't use paddles. This looks a little complicated. There's lots of lights. Oh, 
sweet wristband you can get right back in what do you think about replay Rachel I think I'm pretty good at pinball I've learned she's not too bad at Mortal Kombat I found see I lost at Mortal Kombat like three times and while it's upsetting because I used to play it when I was a kid I'm proud of you you know because I didn't know if you could actually you could you could beat the the master of 15 years ago. You could hang with the boys. You could hang with the boys, yeah. <laughs> we may have been gone a little bit longer than just lunch, but uh, we made it back. And the beautiful thing is that we've got our wristband. We can head right back inside. Only back inside for a second, and Rachel's already back into the black hole. Game face. What's really cool about this machine that I was playing earlier is that, look at this, it's actually got two buttons on the side. So it's like one for these, and the second one uses these up here. It's interesting. Oh, whoa. That one looks way out there. This is the most disorienting thing I've ever like, played in my life. Woo! It's weird because I can't tell if it's a flat surface or if it's really that bumpy. Fire plan, no Yep, yep. Here we go, let's try some attack from Mars. Attack from Mars? Attack from Mars? From on? From. Attack from Mars. The Earth is under attack. An attack from Mars! On the end. This one is blasted Martian. Oh, oh, oh. about some uh, ACDC because this looks this looks bright and interesting. Okay, why don't you and I find something that's two player and we can both Alright we'll try our hand at Miss Pac-Man. Died at 40,700. 40, I'm impressed. I really am. So I don't really know how well it's going to go for me. So far, so good. Doing good. I'm not confident. <laughs> Look at that. No death. Yeah. Still no death. And an extra life. Chase is on. Run, Pac-Man, run! We're at 17-4 now. One death. Pressure is on. One Pac-Man left. 
How about Tempest? We'll give that a shot. This one's really cool. Alright, you wanna go first or you want me to go first? I don't know how to play. So essentially what you wanna do is you use this right here, you spin to be able to move your little character around it, use this to fire, and then you got your super zapper. You'll fire down the hole to be able to kill everything on the screen. Alright? <laughs> How are you doing so far? Okay, so you ended out in sixth place overall. So you need to put your, uh, put your initials in there. There you go. So your score was 11,679. There you go. I'm on the board. Alright, let me give it a shot. This is something that I would really love to play. They have the Twilight Zone machine back here. I guess it's gonna undergo some repairs and then be out there on the floor somewhere. But this, I've played this once and I can't wait to see it operational to be able to play it again. So we're playing Asteroids. God, this is one of the most confusing games I used to play as a kid. Chase these down. Where am I? I died. I died somewhere. Not to cable. Which one's that next? Let's try one of the really old machines. Okay. okay. Let's try fast draw. Paul, No, let's That's try. Fast draw? Yeah. Fast draw sounds like Alright. How do we, uh, okay, we're ready to go. Hiya! Well, that was something. Okay, so let's switch to Paul Bunyan. To Paul Bunyan. Oh, jeez, there's a bunch of them over here. That'll be the new quote instead of uh, "Help me, Tom Cruise." Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this thing. How do you even do that? How do you manage that? That was very anti-climactic. This is a really old machine. So there's not a lot of bulbs and whistles on it, so to speak. Nothing really flashing and getting crazy. I think we should find the machine that goes. We've moved on to white water. World. Finish up this challenge before they close up for the night. We end it where we started. End it on Aztec? Did we start on Aztec? This is the first game I played. Okay, sounds good to me. All right, started out with zeros. Here we go, first ball. How'd your first ball go, Rachel? I got 3,000 points. 2,091. All right, so your final score? 20,343. Now let me show you how a real Aztec does it. Oh. Final score, 25,592. That's 25. 
about now, 592. No, I'm sorry, there's supposed to be a last one on there. Isn't that a zero? No. That's, that's uh, no. 25,592. But hey, that means I'm the what? Winner. Winner, baby. So that means we're tied. Yes. Which means we'll be back soon to go and finish up until time. Okay? Yeah. That's gonna be it for a replay today. We're definitely gonna be back here soon to be able to try and, you know, A, settle our debts, and B, she's actually very good at a lot of the uh, machines in there. I mean, I'm, I'm actually impressed. So, she likes it, we're gonna have to come back down. What do you I've, think? I've never played most of them and I kick your butt. Yeah, so for somebody who actually has grown up in arcades and, you know, going to like Disney Quest when I was growing up and stuff like that, this place was fantastic. So, I mean, as somebody who really didn't play a whole bunch of this coming up, what do you think? Pretty cool. I like, um, I mean, the graphics kind of hurt my soul, but... <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, growing up with, like, an Xbox and stuff like that, I mean, graphics, yeah, no, these are, these are not I great like at all, but... I like that I'm good at it. Yeah, so, <laughs> if you guys are in Tarpon Springs, Florida, uh, I mean, there's a bunch of antiquing and stuff to do, but if you guys are into games whatsoever, check this place out. It is fantastic. I'll go ahead and I'm going to stick a um, link to it in the description. So I'll come on down as well as the, like Facebook and stuff like that. And I want to say thank you guys very much here at Replay for letting us go ahead and come in and shoot inside of this place. And we're definitely going to be coming back soon. So that being said, up in the top left over there in the uh, empty void, I'm going to throw the subscribe button. And in the bottom where that reflection of the car is, is going to be the subs what? subscribe on the top and uh, most recent video on the bottom. So I guess I will see you guys in the next video, the next time when we're reporting from um, uh, Eastern Germany and we're gonna try some schnitzel. Thanks.